Hi everyone and welcome back to this AutoCAD tutorial. On our previous lesson we learned a fast way to model the skylights of the train station. As you can see I finished creating the rest of them. Now on this clip we will take a look on how to create a tile pattern that can be used to generate accurate information from our 3D model that can be later transformed and get actually manufactured. For that I have already prepared this pattern over here using some hexagons and what we're gonna do with it is to project it onto the surface of the roof. In previous clips we have done this by using the project geometry tool according to view, but in this case we're gonna try to use the project geometry tool according to UCS as now we haven't modified the standard UCS system and the pattern is actually below the roof surface. So we can use this tool as it will take the C axis as the direction for the projection. For that let us click on the surface tab on the ribbon and select the project geometry tool according to UCS. So let's click on this icon. And now we're gonna select all the tiles, click enter, and then select the surface of the roof, and that's it. Now to give you a more graphic idea of what we have done and what this operation result is, I'm gonna turn off the visibility of the layers of the roof and the tile pattern. I'm gonna go to the home tab and under the layer option, I'm gonna select turn off visibility, now I'm going to select the objects of the layers I want to turn off its visibility. This way we can appreciate how the lines of the tile patterns follow perfectly the surface of the roof. And this is because the project geometry tool allows us to generate very specific elements and information of our project that in other ways will be too complicated to obtain. But also, as you can see, the projection of the tile pattern only affects the selected main surface of the roof, but not its extensions or the skylight's covers. And for that, we're gonna go some steps back using Ctrl C, and we're gonna remake this operation. But first, what we're gonna do is we're gonna join all surfaces together so it's one single element. Just be aware, by joining two or more surfaces, they will lose its associativity properties toward the lines and curves used to create them. So, we're gonna join the surfaces using the Union tool that you will find under the Solid Editing set of tools in the home tab of the ribbon. So let's click here. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna select a couple of objects. So first the main surface of the roof and then one of the skylights covers. And then click Enter. Depending on the performance of your computer, I will advise you to make the union of surfaces by two surfaces at a time, as sometimes when you try to join more than two surfaces, AutoCAD will not process them correctly. So I'm going to go on and continue joining the rest of the surfaces and be back to you in a second. Now I have finished joining all the different surfaces of the roof into one single element and the next thing we're going to do is to repeat the process to project the tile pattern onto the surfaces. So once again let's click on the surface stuff in the ribbon and select the project geometry tool according to UCS. Now let's select all the tiles, click enter and now click on the roof surface. Great. Now that we have seen how easy it is to use this tool, the idea of learning how to use this and other tools is to take the most advantages from it as we can. And in our situation, the advantage of doing complicated tasks in a fast manner can result in giving us the opportunity or extra time that we could use to explore other design possibilities. So by saying that, I want to work with you guys in a second option for this project and as you can see in this file, we have uh, another set of elements that like uh, an original rough surface and another tile pattern. And in this case, we will try to use this tile pattern, but to create uh, the skylights of this option. And here we have different kinds of hexagons corresponding to different kinds of elements. So we have these white hexagons and we have the central blue hexagons. And to start modeling these skylights, we're gonna turn off the visibility of the central blue ones. So let's go to the home tab and then to the layer set of tools and select the turn off visibility. And let's select the central blue 
hexagon and enter and here we're going to use as well the project geometry tool according to UCS so let's go back to the surface tab and select the project geometry to UCS tool select the tiles that we want to use enter and now select this surface and there we have them one thing I want to explain to you guys is that whenever you project a polyline even if it's a close polyline as our hexagon the result of the project geometry operation will be a series of independent splines and for the purpose that we want to use them we need to join these splines to have a continuous element so we're gonna select one of them then make a right click and under the drop the menu we're gonna hover our mouse on the spline and then we will select the join option and now we're gonna select all the exterior splines that are were projected from these tiles and now that we have select all of them we just need to click enter and you can see it's one single spline now and the reason we needed to have one single spline and a closed spline is because we're going to use it to trim the surface of the roof so we're going to select the trim tool from the surface edit tool now we're going to click on the surface of the train station roof click enter and now we're going to select the continuous spline that we just joined enter and then click on the area that we want to trim out now the next step to create this skylight is we're going to go to the layer property manager we're going to turn on the visibility of the roof tile glass layer and we're going to turn off the visibility of the reflecting roof tile layer so we can select more quickly this blue hexagon and then what we're gonna do is we're gonna change its elevation so for that we can just quickly go to the to their properties and under the elevation option we're gonna type in 18 meters enter and now we're gonna go ahead and and we're gonna make a loft using the continuous spline that we joined before and one of these blue hexagons so under the surface tab let's click on the loft tool select the continuous spline that we made and then select this blue hexagon as the second cross section of our loft operation and click enter so now we have a different type of skylight for our, our train station now I'm gonna continue modeling the rest of the skylights for this second option I'll get back to you in a second so there you have it well now by doing this second option we can quickly compare and decide which is the one that works better for the project and at the end of the day that's the whole purpose of getting to know how to use these tools and it is to get all the liberty you need to explore all the options you want on our next lesson we will model the facade elements of our station so once again thanks for watching and stay tuned for more upcoming lessons